Hey everyone, I'm S and I'm taking you on my conversion journey. So recently, uh, a few weeks ago, my rabbi and I went over the 13 principles of Jewish faith. And I wanted to speak on a few of them that, that um, really opened my eyes and uh, let's get into it. So I have my laptop here, I just wanted to, I'm not gonna say, I'm gonna say it now, but I'm not gonna say God, I'm just gonna say Hashem. So, what the, the reason why he emphasized to know this was because it's the pure foundation of the Jewish faith. If you believe in the 13 principles and practice them daily, you are a true, true Jewish person, true Jewish believer, and you are making a promise to fulfill these uh, principles. So one of the principles is that the belief in the, I'm just going to name two actually, the belief in the, in the divine origin of the Torah and uh, the belief in the immutability of the Torah. So this, this sparks flags for me, only flags for me because if you look at uh, Reform Judaism, they, they don't follow the Torah. And when I was doing my research, I was confused. I was just like, but if the 13 principles is telling us that the Torah is divine and basically cannot be changed, cannot be replaced, why is it that reforms are following society and are, are following what's, what's modern. You know, the Torah isn't modern, it, it doesn't change. So I thought that that was interesting to me. This is not to cause any drama towards anyone who is reformed. I just think that it's interesting. Um, so I'm still getting to know the Torah. So I am very, very much a believer in it. I just want to know more about it. And I think a lot of people stray away from the Torah because it can be difficult to, to follow it wholeheartedly and completely. And I don't think that Hashem is wanting us to be perfect. I think he wants us to just acknowledge that it is divine and that it cannot be changed. And I, I believe that. I believe that the Torah is spoken words to the Jewish people. It's, it's knowledge and it's a way of life. So I thought that was a very um, interesting, interesting principle to follow. Um, the next one that struck me in the heart and <laughs> core was uh, the belief in the resurrection of the dead. I was a terrible Christian. I'm not even gonna lie. I, I did. I don't know if that's in Christianity or not, but. I'm still trying to wrap my head around what exactly this means. Does this mean, I guess this means that our souls will come back and be with Hashem or I don't think it actually means that we will come back and just be real peep humans again. I think that after we pass, it's interesting to think of an, another life, a better life um, that's that's waiting for us. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm, like I said, I'm making these videos to learn from you. So I think that's something that um, I'm very much open to learning more about. If, uh, if you guys have a response to this, feel free to just type it in the comments because I, I want people to engage with me. Um, so yeah, tell me exactly what, what this principle means. The belief in the resurrection of the dead. So the next one 
is okay this one also um was uh informative to me because like i said i, I grew up christian I, I grew up believing in jesus christ as my savior um but around 16 that was when i i believed i i knew that this wasn't for me and i just completely stopped going to church and stopped practicing um because i just felt like i was just told to believe something and that this person was my savior and i knew in my heart i didn't believe it so this principle says the belief in god oops sorry <laughs> the belief in hashem's non corporal cor corporality nor that he will be affected by any physical occurrences such as movement, resting, or, or dwelling. And I took this as God, um, when, especially when they said physical occurrences. Um, I, said, I said it again. <laughs> Sorry. Especially in physical occurrences, it says that basically he can't, make children he can't do anything that we humans can do so how is jesus christ our personal savior if he's god's son if he's hashem's son you know and i i question these things in christianity because the the Messiah didn't come yet. So why are, are Christians celebrating and why aren't we in peace? Why aren't we all happy and unified and it's just the beautiful, perfect world because that's what the Messiah's job is. So out of all the principles, this one really shook me to my core because it, it basically shot down everything that I was taught as a child. It's like, we, a Jew, we as Jewish people are still waiting for the Messiah and other religions or other people who believe Christianity or, or any other already believe he already came. But how is that possible if there's still suffering in the world? But I don't, I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I'm still early on in my journey. Um, I'm only, I've, I've been converting for seven months now. Seven months now. And I, like, there's so much information that was, that has been thrown at me that I, I have to talk about it in order to explain it better and to make sure it's implanted in my mind and my soul because I, I don't want to get to the end of this conversion and be like, I don't, I don't know anything. So I believe I know things and I want to challenge myself a bit. And this is, this is why I'm continuing to make these videos. So I believe in his existence. I believe he's the creator. I believe um, he is absolute and unparalleled. Um, I believe in the Torah, the resurrection, I'm going to have to understand. Um, and I, I believe in the arrival of the Messiah. So you guys tell me, is there something I'm misinterpreting? Did I get something wrong? I want to know. I need to know in order to help me through this process. So stay tuned for my next video.